Hey people, and welcome to Yahoo in the Know Furniture Flip. I'm your host, Bree, and I'm gonna teach you how to take your old and outdated furniture and turn it into something new. Let's get to it. So today I'm working with this bamboo dresser. This is a Dixie dresser. I got it from Facebook Marketplace. I paid around $50 for it. I'm gonna be painting it a really pretty blue color, and then I'm also going to be shining up the knob. So after it's done, it's gonna be really beachy and really boho. For this dresser makeover, I'll be using wood filler, a sanding block to scuff sand, citrate acid to clean the hardware, and then I have my gloves, and that's for when I'm using the citrate acid. I have my two wire brushes that I'll be using to scrub the hardware. I'll be painting it with my paint roller, and I'll be using this really pretty blue paint. And then I'll be using a top coat to seal the paint. I took the knobs off of the dresser and right now the knobs are really rusty and really tarnished and I'm going to be using citrate acid to make them back gold and to make them shiny again. And all you do is add about two cups of water. You want the water to be hot and boiling and then that will be two tablespoons of citrate acid. Give it a stir and make sure that the citrate acid is all the way in there. I always wear my gloves when I'm dealing with the citrate acid because if you have any small cuts or scratches scratches on your fingers, it's going to burn. And then you're going to add in the hardware and the hardware is going to sit in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then when you go to scrub it off, it's all the tarnish is going to come right off and your hardware is going to look brand new. Before I start sanding, I'm going to be adding wood filler soup to the top of the dresser. And if you're wondering what wood filler soup is, it's eight parts wood filler and two parts water. And what this does is it makes the wood filler a little bit more watery and it's going to fill in all the tiny little scratches that are on top of the dresser without having to take your wood filler and go over it a thousand times. Right now the wood filler is really thick and when I add the water, it's gonna make it a little more watery. That way, all the wood filler can really get inside of the scratches. And what I do, I just take it and I start from one end of the dresser and I just pour it and go all the way down. And then I make sure that I'm wearing gloves and you're just gonna basically take your hand and you're going to go in circles all over the top of the dresser. And this is going to make sure that the wood filler is getting in all the little scratches. But it's okay if it goes off of the sides and gets a little messy because you can just sand that off. Okay, and that is it. That is my wood filler soup trick. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to sand it smooth. Now the wood filler soup is done drying, so I'm going to be giving the entire dresser a scuff sand, and I'm gonna be using a sanding block to do that, along with the sanding disc. And the reason I'm using a sanding block is because there's so many grooves and corners on this dresser, so this is going to make it a little bit easier. When you start sanding the wood filler, it's gonna come off, it's gonna be very powdery. That's fine, all you're doing is making the wood filler really smooth and flat with the dresser. I'm just going back and forth with my sanding block. And I also do the same thing on all the grooves. I just take my sanding block and I just go over all the corners. So now it's time to paint the dresser and I'm painting it this really pretty blue color and I'll be using my roller and then I also have some different sizes of brushes that I'll be using. And this is for all like the little details on the top of the dresser and all the details on the drawers. So I'm gonna start with my roller and then I'll move on with the brushes. Remember when you're using a roller, you're just gonna go in the same direction. Now I'm done painting the dresser. It's this really pretty blue color. I use my roller everywhere but the drawer fronts and that was to make sure that I got inside all these details. So now I'm going to add my top coat and I'm gonna be putting on the knobs and this dresser is going to be done. I'm using a roller to add the top coat and I'm going to apply it the same way that I did the paint. I'm just going to go back and forth in the same direction. And if your top coat ever gets any bubbles, you just wanna keep going over it until all those bubbles are gone and it's smooth. Okay, so this is one layer of top coat. I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the dresser and then I'll be applying the knobs and the dresser will be done. I'm going to put the last knob on and we are going to be done with this dresser. It's already looking good. Okay, and that is it. 
the dresser is done it's this beautiful blue color it looks completely different the fun part about this project was painting it this pretty blue color the most difficult part of this dresser was painting inside of these little grooves that are all over so you have to use a really pointy paintbrush when you do that make sure to stay tuned for more yahoo in the know furniture flips